All right, what's going on, guys? So this is the uh, radio that I was telling you guys about that came from a Bree. The $29 with a $2 coupon. And they have a USB-C, and it's programmable with Chirp using the UV-17 Pro. Um, I, I don't really know what this one's designated as. I think it says UV-17R inside the, the cover. I've had a couple of versions of this radio. Uh, this one oh. has the color screen. It has 220, it's completely unlocked. It has the flashlight on the bottom. It does the typical tricks. Um, it does not have GPS. Uh, that one, the only way you're gonna get that one is you're gonna have to take your chances and order from like um, AliExpress or uh, maybe eBay. So on this radio here, Hello. that's your menu button. That's your back button. This will toggle between A and B. Long press this. Channel mode. It'll go from channel to. Frequency mode. And then down here is your scan. Scanning begin. And this radio. Scanning stop. Channel mode. Scans fairly fast. Scanning begin. Um. It has 999 memories. The screen times out during scan. And then I think you just kind of wake it up like this. And it won't interfere with the scan. Um, the screen times out quite quickly. Scanning stop. You have, you have to get it to stop before you can get into the menu. Um, the firmware version is 1.11. Um, and the reason I show you that is because we have this radio here, which is almost the same radio, but it has a different firmware on it. So what I want to do is I want a copy of this firmware, and then I want to flash it to this radio if it's possible, because this thing's locked. Um, otherwise, these radios actually, I, I like it a little bit better because it's got an A and B and a VFO dedicated knob. Oops, I almost fell over. So, it's uh, extremely similar. These were on sale for $19, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. I don't buy from Radotity because they lock up everything and they use proprietary crap. Uh, so, Hello. let's just go through the menu really fast on here. So squelch, step, TX power, save, Vox. Wide or narrow, uh, backlight, ABR is automatic backlight something, I don't know, 10 seconds, 20, you can go to 20, 20 seconds. Confirm. Menu. Okay. So, uh, TDR, I don't remember what that is, beep prompt. Timeout timer, tone, DCS, tone, DCS, scan, scan DCS, um, CDCS, save mode, voice on or off, language, push to talk latency, MDF. A and B. I have my A line set up differently. So that way if I'm not sure what something is, I can punch in the channel number and I'll be able to find out what my frequency is. What I really wish they would do is they do like the um, other radio. Menu exit time, box delay, logo. So I think you could change the logo on this one too. Um, stopwatch that, like, who cares? So, uh, let me show you over here. So this Radtel, there's only one fault about this radio that I have found so far. So you see, I've got frequency and name for A and B. Um, and then you switch back and forth. And then I think DTMF input now. 
this radio. Um, I remember I was trying to figure out how the hell to use a frequency mode. And it's weird because you wouldn't think it would be this button down here. So this is a good radio until you start to scan with it. Um, let's see, I can't remember how you scan with it. Oh, this one right here. So as soon as it lands on some kind of signal, it will just stop and it won't resume scanning. There's no kind of way to change that. It's just going to sit here and scan. Uh, but what is nice is I think the display stays on the entire time that it's scanning. Which is something that I thought most of the Bofang radios did also. Uh, but this one here, when you're scanning, scanning it will time out as soon as the timer hits, which is 20 seconds on this one. Uh, apparently this one stopped also. So... Uh, the only thing that's telling you that this radio is scanning is that flashing green light at the top. Um, this one, when it goes blank, uh, I guess you'll have no idea it's even on. This one, you can tell it's on. This is okay. I s B A repeater. Now, this one hasn't even picked it up. <laughs> um, it was scratchy on this one and this is a very very short really terrible antenna so but anyway this will just continue to resume scanning and this one here never picked it up um, with its dinky antenna but once this thing stops it's done you'll have to restart scan um That's a pretty loud signal. We have no RSI meter indication whatsoever. So another thing I think too, you can go like that and skip over it, which is nice. Um, I don't believe the S meter in, in this thing works at all. I don't think it does crap. I think it just reads full or nothing. Um, whereas like, you know, with a, this one here, I'm pretty sure it, it's accurate. Um, so, you know, I don't know. You could buy a whole bunch of these different radios and, like, you go, oh, I like what's on this one, I like what's on that one. But nobody really puts out, like, a radio that covers it all. I mean, you can buy a nice Yesu or Icom, you know, HT. And... It's still not going to give you everything you want. And it's going to cost a lot of money. So this one here is really the same as this one. Um, we're picking up that noise. You see it shows it on the meter. And it's actually moving back and forth. So this one appears to actually have... Like a meter. Three hundred and forty-nine. Uh, I don't know if it's letting me skip. No. You pick up a lot of this really weird interference. Okay. Scanning begin. And it could be like nearby digital. I don't know. But anyway, I just to give you guys a quick overview of this radio. I think this is really the best one that's that's out right now um, for just like basic stuff. The flashlight on the bottom is really nice as far as like usability. You know, you can actually like use this radio. That flashlight here, it, it's, it's okay. There's times like where like on the bottom is better. Is if you're like holding it up and you wanted to look at it, you know, something, you know, and you just turn it on. Uh, most of the flashlights on these aren't real great. You know, I mean, the one on my phone is probably a lot better. Um, and a lot of times I carry a, a Streamlight Stinger anyways, so those things are extremely bright. 
But, um, yeah, anyway, we don't got to get into all the flashlight stuff. Uh, a lot of guys are buying these fancy flashlights. I'm still using Streamlight Stingers that use uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. And that was the standard in automotive for quite some time and still is. So, and they're made in the USA. $120, $150 flashlight, and they'll probably last you forever. But, you know, where did it go? So you cannot turn the flashlight on while it's scanning. Interesting. Okay. So we just learned something. So it's 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 okay. It doesn't hurt my eyes. Um. Let's see. So it's I think it's the coolest idea to put it here, you know, rather than up here. There's something about the flashlight here. It's just to me, I don't know. It just kind of makes it feel like a toy. This one doesn't have a flashlight. This one also doesn't have tits on the bottom. So it does kind of like to lean over. Uh, but like this said, this has got the USB on the back of the battery. You can buy the batteries for $17. Bucks. Um, there is the other radio that was like $24 or something. But it was locked. And it was sold by Ray Doddity. And it was black. It had the color screen. So this radio, not only is it unlocked, not only does it have the USB, not only does it have the color screen, but it's, it's doing about 5 watts on 220 from what I can tell. You know, and so, I mean, like, how can you go wrong with this radio? I mean, like, yeah, it, it's not quite as cheap as the UV-5R, um, but I, I really can't see too many advantages of the UV-5R other than, like, you can view the screen when the backlight's not on, and you can definitely see it a lot better in daylight. These, I won't even lie to you, you can't read these during the daylight in Arizona. I mean, you're not going to be able to see the screen. You're going to have to put your hand over it and look at it. So, all, all three of these, all the same way. Um, and this one here, it showed up with uh, way down in the deep of the screen on the internal part. There was actually a scratch. Somehow they scratched the screen when they put the thing together, but you can't see it when it's on. Um, and you have to really look to, to tell. But these are cool. They look great indoors, you know. But outdoors, like I said, you, you cannot view it. Um, I can take it outside really quick and show you. Okay, so right now, the sun's actually pretty low. But you can see that it's barely readable in dim light. If we go over here, I'm in the shade. Yeah, you can barely read that. So this is an indoor radio. If you look really, really, really careful, you can almost read the screen with the backlight off. And I think if you get some sunlight on it, you, you I can read it, uh, but it's not showing up in the video. So anyway, 